Yo, what's up everyone, so today we are back from the episode of Marvel's tutorial who will be on offense. So just before I start this tutorial, I have now a Discord, so I will link it in the description. If you just want to like come in to ask any question or just speak with people, it's yeah in the description. So um I will split this video in two parts. So the first one will be uh, free play when I will show you some offensive moves you can use in your once in gameplay. And the second part will be a replay review of a match I did against Alpha 54 during a League of Rocket show match. So, just before starting the first part, I will uh, tell you the most important thing to know in 1v1, which is you have to be able to recover from every shot you're doing. So it doesn't matter how good shooter you are. If your opponent makes the save and you cannot recover from your best shot, he's gonna score a free goal. So, you really, really have to keep that in mind when you're playing 1v1. So now we know that, ju let's just get going to the first part. So the second most important thing to do in 1v1 of course is to be able to shoot consistently. So by shooting consistently it's like shooting every free goal you can. So if you have like a thing like that and your opponent is not there you have to be able to shoot it. If the ball is going on the wall you have to be able to shoot it in. <laughs> I will show you again, you have to be able to, oh, just have to be able to shoot it in. Like you have to be able to score every free goal at least like nine times on ten. You cannot miss those in like show match or anything. You may even rank it, like you really have to score those. So to improve your uh, shooting accuracy, you can put the ball somewhere and aim somewhere. So for example I'm gonna put the ball left and try to hit top right. Almost. Again, for example, take Pretty decent shot. Now top left. Now, like for example, I'm gonna hit the ball backboard and try to like do this. Like you can just pop the ball somewhere and try to hit it where you want. So and then you say, okay, I'm gonna try to hit it here like five times on ten shots, then six times, then seven times, and try to do it consistently. So. That's why I'm doing every time I'm like doing free play and I think it improved my shooting accuracy a lot. So then you can uh, we can go for the flick. So the flick you just have to put the ball on the top of your car and then flick it. You can do it again. Put one of your jump one time and flick. So to do good flick like this, you have to put the ball on the top of your car a bit uh, where the white line is. So imagine your car is a block, the front of your car is power and the back of your car is giving aid to the ball. If you put the ball uh, a bit on this white line, you will have a lot of power with a bit of height. If you put the ball too much on the front, your ball will just go forward. If you put the ball too much on your back, the ball will go nowhere. So you really have to put the ball where I said, a bit in the middle and you front flip. So what I like to do is just jumping one time and then flick it with the back of my car. I think it's really powerful and like it's really consistent too. Uh, also you can also go for the 45 degree flip so it's basically the same as the normal flick but you've got to put your uh, car at 45 degree so by using a bit of arrow so you jump an arrow a bit like this. So I'll show you this I'll show you again, take the ball and flick like this. So this is pretty good, but I don't really like it. I don't really like it. Uh, to mix up your offense, you can also do for a backflip. So, like for example, if you put your opponent in a routine of you flicking, and then you go for like, you're going for a flip and then backflip, your opponent will go for, uh, to save your shot, but then you will just put it ahead of him and you will have a free goal. So just go for it really rarely, like not every time because it's only a tool that makes you score like a free goal sometimes but really don't use it as a main tool because your opponent will like, get used to it and then you will not be able to score from this one like again so as uh, this is the only thing i use in my once like offensive repertory most of the time i use some other thing i will show you just uh, at the end of uh, this uh, free play thing, but like 
the basic thing I only use that. So the three following moves I'm gonna show you are like more dangerous. So if you use them, you will have probably more uh, chance to score, but you will have more chance to take a call too. So be aware of that and don't use them too much if you want to be consistent in one blow. So the air drag, you just pop the ball, you go behind him and just follow it. It's really pretty easy. I could just, you can go from everywhere you want. Even if you miss it, you can still like try to play 50-50. It's not that like do or die, but it's still pretty dangerous. Uh, the second uh, type of error you can do is the eligible pump, which is really dangerous. So if you like go for it, like this, pop the ball, and then try to pump your opponent, put the ball in your car, double jump, and try to pump your opponent. If you hit your opponent, then it's practically free goal. If you miss your opponent, then your opponent will score a goal. So be really careful with that because it's really something I don't like to like to do because it's really like do or die like I said but it can be really useful like if you want to score a really important goal or you're down like one goal left and it's like 30 seconds left you can do that because it's it can really help you. Uh, also you can go for sending shots so you just make the ball roll go on the ceiling, jump, and then miss the ball because you're bad. <laughs> no, but like, just do that. You can also like, touch the ball, go on the roof, and then shut. Or, like I said, this first time you can just take the ball, just hit it one time, go on the roof, and shoot on the ball. You can also try for flip with it, I'm just gonna show it one time because I'm really bad and I'm not gonna be sure to hit it. So you just go under the ball and then you try to flick it. So I'm not here to show you how to do that, I'm just here to show you like what you can do and if you really want to improve your flip with it, don't watch this video and just watch a tutorial on flip with it. Same for sync shots. So uh, I think I said most of the basic thing. And I'm just gonna tell you one more thing, so be creative. So, you don't have to do like things that every people do. You can hang out in free play and like try to eat some weird stuff. And if you can do them consistently and it works and you can recover from them, then just do it. Like, personally, I like to do things like this, like change a lot of directions. So, I just like jump and then pop it like to like bounce dribble like this then jump and put it on the left I like to like still bounce I like to do a lot of things with bounce dribbling jump one time and flick it like you can do whatever you want if you can recover from them and it's working just do them like it's the only thing you can say for it. so now let's get right into the reply review replay it's this one tech so um to cam me 50% so for example this play here I control the ball mm, alpha is coming to me I don't know if it's gonna change me or not so I'm gonna just control it really close to me uh, if he decides to change me, I'm gonna flick it on the left. If he doesn't decide to change me, I'm gonna keep it on me. He doesn't decide to change me. Waiting for him. Here. I don't know if he's gonna play with or not, so I just jumped. I jumped, I see he's far, so I'm not dashing. I know now he's going for 50-50. I played it really good. Now I have a really good chance to score. I'm confident with my uh, shooting ability, so I'm just going forward and try to shoot it and I make a really good shot he cannot save it and even if he saved that I would have been able to take this boost so this is the first one I played pretty good and I had a good like confidence about my shooting skill so I scored it second uh, like shoot <laughs> Alpha is trying to make a move but he is low boost 
so he cannot finish his air drag. And like I said, he tried to do an air drag. He missed it a bit, so I have a really good opportunity to score. I don't decide to uh, shoot it because it could have been bad, so I control it. Here I'm low boost, and he's low boost too. So uh, I have two choices. I can go all in and try to score it, or try to score it, but I, if it doesn't work, I can still recover from it and go to take left boost and continue my offense, which is what I end up doing. He's forced to make a move. I'm taking this boost. I go mid, I take the mid boost, he can't change me, I'm gonna bounce the dribble because this is the most effective dribble you can do because you stay close to the ball and your opponent cannot really rush you. Here he decided to not change me which is bad from him because now I am able to get him closer to his goal. Now I'm really close, I know he can't do anything, I'm gonna try to score right, which is why I said you have to be able to shoot constantly, like 9 times on 10, you have to score this goal on right. So, I end up scoring on right, and on the right side of the goal, sorry, and it's a goal. So, this play lasted like 20 seconds, and during this 20 seconds I was like really patient, I didn't force any goal. Uh, I took my time, and I ended up going from 0 boost with a pretty fine opportunity, to 100 boost with like a free goal. So. Just be careful with what you're doing, take your time, be patient, and the goal will come to you one day. Next opportunity. I destroyed him, as you can see with this. I'm, he has the wall field for me. I'm bound swing bring. Wait for him to make a move. He's rushing me, I don't know if he's gonna change or not. He decided at the end of the play to uh, not change me, so I'm still booming it backboard. He uh, I have two chase, so I have to like wait what he's doing, but then if he doesn't touch it, I have free goal. If he don't go for it, uh, I can read it from the back wall and probably score. And if he take it, I can wait his touch and continue my offense. So here, I have 50 boost. I don't need to go back. I see he's changing me, so I'm trying to put it ahead, but uh, he managed to get a touch. I still have 40 boost, so I don't need to go take a boost. I can continue my offense. Here, I don't know if he's gonna change or not, so I'm taking my time. He decided to change, so I put it ahead of him. Here, I should have taken his boost, I think, but I don't know why I took the mid boost. It's still not a bad play. He's changing me, but if he changes me, it's really bad for him because I'm ahead of him, so it's not really useful. Here, I don't know if he's gonna challenge, so I dash the ball. And since the start of this play, I did only like safe play. I didn't try to force any goal, and he couldn't have any chance to go on my side. So as you can see, you can play safe and have really good pressure. He's behind me, I hear him and I saw him going for the ball, so I'm just gonna flick it a bit ahead so he cannot really go for it. I'm still making pressure, not letting him face, I know he can't really flick it. He still decides to flick it, and now I have a free goal. So like the previous play, this play lasted like 30 seconds, 25 seconds, and during this last of time, he didn't even add the time to like do one offensive thing, even though he took like two big pads, and he like countered five or six times my offensive move. So just play safe, and like I said, doesn't matter if it's taking 30 seconds, one minute or two minutes, if you're playing safe and uh, you doesn't make mistake, you don't make mistake, you will score at the end of the day. So we can see like one more play, so for example this one, from Alpha's point of view, tech. Here, he's landing, destroying me. He's zero, so he takes back boost. Control it, he's in me rushing. Here he doesn't know if... Uh, I'm changing on that because the ball is in front of him, so he decided to flick it. I decided to fake change, which worked because if I changed him, I would have probably get scored on. I dash in a spot where he can't do really anything, but here he sees me going because I'm low boost and I need to like get up, or get out of this situation. So I tried to do like an all-in thing, which didn't work because he played really smart and fast, 
and was confident in his like mechanical skill he ended up good spinning me and he got a goal so as you can see for this four goal it's nothing flashy it's only about like uh, doing like smart thing trying to outspeed your opponent trying to outplay him it's not about like getting flip reset or like getting really insane flick or anything you just like you can score from that but you can also go score from doing like small touches that will catch your opponent off guard and that will like make your opponent guess what you're gonna do so i really hope this will help you because uh, this is probably uh, the part i like the most in 1v1 it's like being creative in offense like you can do whatever you want if it's like if you score at the end of the day it's like really amazing because you can do whatever you want like you doesn't matter if you your play you can like recover from it and uh it's pretty like it's pretty have a good uh, chance to score then just do it and it's really cool so i hope it helps you a lot and we'll see us next wednesday to for the defensive one so have a good day and hope it helps you bye